Testing.
<laughs> yeah, I just did. <laughs> uh, oh, good. We can go do that. We can go do that. There we go. All right. Welcome, welcome, everyone, uh, to the stream today. Uh, we are taking this little beauty uh, out today. And uh, I might have a bit of trouble starting her up. We'll see how we go. Um, you can't see it on screen, but I've got the uh, checklist to my left. <laughs> Did not know we were not already. Yeah, it was the same when I saw you pop up. Um, I was exactly the same, Brett. <laughs> I was going, oh, I thought we were already on there, but that's all good. Uh, let's throw this up there. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. Uh, and it's a nice chilled flight down Panama Canal, so it won't be a long flight. Uh, I did extend it a little bit to a couple of islands off uh, just to get it out to a couple of hours. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just going to be a chilled flight. See how we go. Uh, with uh, this bird, we'll obviously have to refuel, but it's going to be good fun. You are on face cam. I'm on face cam? What do you mean I'm on face cam? Not up there. Is it up there now? Should be up there now. Let me have a look. Yes, face cam's up there. No? Because on uh, my... You mean my camera's not on? I'm a bit confused. I can certainly see my camera on my test. If you're looking at the camera above you, then that is not showing. The camera above me is not on. I've only got the camera in front of me, yeah. I don't have the camera above me at the moment because it's not always working. It sort of stutters the top camera that looks down. Is that the one you're talking about? I don't have that one on at the moment because I'm finding that stutters quite a bit on my second camera. But, uh... Well, I'll give it a go. Give me two secs, guys. I'll uh, see if it works. I haven't tried since the update. So let's uh, turn her on. All right. I'm just going to try to see if this camera will turn itself on. And let me just go make sure it's all uh, activated. Yeah, see, it's not finding it on today, I don't think. Oh, no, it is. No, it is. It is, it is, it is. Oh, <laughs> now I know what you mean. There you go. Probably a bit of a mess. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Let's see if it, let's see if it stutters. You can tell me, because it might actually switch on today. Uh, let's have a look if uh, the second camera will come on. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. That one comes on, but that one doesn't. No, don't look like it's working. Oh, good. All good. Let's get started. Uh, that would have been good if that actually was on. Sorry, I forgot to actually check that since I did the updates and everything, and uh, I really wanted to get... It actually is working in my preview, but it's not coming up on stream. And uh, that's a bit of a pain. Let's see if I can work out why. Quickly, we might get it going. Nah, this doesn't want to show. Would have been good. All right, all good. Let's uh, get started. So yes, I don't really know how to start this thing properly. So, oh, look at that. We already got things started, but I'm going to, uh, oh, how did that open? I have the checklist on the left of me, so I'm going to go through that now. How do I close this? Normally there, there it is. All right, so I do have that next to me. So let's go have a look and start her up. All right, so we've got these on, which are good. Keep the wheel chocks on. Yeah. 
The only thing I def- I find is is when I go around the uh, cockpit, Brett, sample. I know the magnetos are just here. And I'll put those on now anyway. I'm not going to follow the exact start list, which is... Uh, ah. But I can't always spin the prop. Yeah, you can. You can. No, but over here, I can't actually always open this one up. So I've got to go. So I've got to obviously do the spark plugs and all that sort of stuff. Pretty sure I do anyway. So let's uh, go do that now. What are we doing? We're doing a cold start. And pretty much everything's ready there. Fuel's ready. Primer. Primer. So here I can do it. Yeah, there are set camera options. That's why I'm just going to use these. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. So let's uh, do you. Prime you up. And oil is up here somewhere. There we go. And spark plugs. Spark plugs. Cool. I think that's all good there. I'm just using the... Uh, Four times. Okay, so, yep, this should pretty much go, right? Ooh. There we go. Start it up. Let's go put, take those chocks off, yeah? I remembered. <laughs> I was, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not really. As I said, I had the uh, had the uh, everything ready to go on the left of my screen that you can't see on the stream. So let's get started for this uh, chilled flight. Normally, Stu joins me, but not sure why he's not here. But that's all right. Maybe he wanted to go faster. Faster. He didn't like the slow planes because we know Stu don't like slow planes. Uh, he's probably waiting for your stream, Brett, because you're flying a bit faster than I am today. But I will say, touch wood, touch wood, um, things are right. Look at the car. <laughs> yeah, that might be why. That might be why. You are right. I was talking to it. Yeah. On, I think, yeah, he said on your stream, wasn't it? Or someone's stream yesterday. Yours, I think. We don't really need much. Uh, well, where's the wind going? Let's have a look. It's only a crosswind, isn't it? That's all right. Not much wind at all. So I got on live weather. We'll see how it holds up. Uh, but uh, it's looking pretty dull out there today. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta sit back a bit so I get a little bit more control. So yeah, we'll watch our fuel and uh, we'll see how we go. There's not many places to stop and fuel, so that's going to be interesting on this flight. Let's get in the air.
Oh, that's okay, Stu. All good. <laughs> oh, that'll probably turn those engine sounds down a bit, guys. They are quite loud. Why have I got very low speeds? What's going on? We go faster than that. Yeah, all good. No problem, Stu. I'm only flying around here anyway. Anyway, I'm going to work out why I'm going so... Uh, I'm actually just going to pause. Everyone's going to ignore the pause for a moment. I'm going to go turn those engine noises down. Hey, Flying Frog, how are you doing? Does anyone know what I'm doing wrong? Because uh, I've got uh, a very low airspeed. Um, and I don't want to run throttle too high. I'm running at 95% and I am really slow. And I'm not really climbing. And there's hardly any wind. See if I get to Mac 1. <laughs> so we're just uh, flying over here over Cologne at the moment. Good day, C and D. How you doing, mate? Well, I wasn't actually climbing. I'm basically not climbing at the moment, and I'm running at 50 knots. Which is quite slow. So good old Panama we're flying over today. 70 to the 90 knots max. Yeah, well I'm running at 50... I'm at 95% throttle. And I'm running at 50 knots. And I am... Ooh, I'm climbing slightly. But that's about it. That's alright. How are you, C and D? You doing well, mate? You're doing well? And Flying Frog, you too? You doing okay? So yeah, weather's quite... Uh... So yeah, so what I did with my sim, with all the issues I was having, I basically, all I did, I had a new SSD, I had it installed. It was already on SSD, Flight Sim, and I had it installed the SSD, so I thought, well, instead of doing a fresh install, let me see what would happen if I moved Flight Sim across to a new SSD. And that's all I did, and now everything is running across, you know, touch wood, uh, is running better. So, which is cool. No, I think we're all right now. Speeds are sort of settled down. And yet to wake up. You're getting ready for your super fast flight. Uh, with Brett plays. You're doing fine, CND? Just chilling? Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's what this flight's about. It's pretty much just chilling and checking out Panama, but in the same time checking out anything that pops up with the new sim. Or the updated sim. Uh, I do have the uh, scenery for Panama, so obviously there is a bit more scenery around. A lot of ships around as well. Awesome. Got some barges over there. I did notice that uh, after moving everything, my mod manager is not working, so which is probably a good thing. So there's pretty much no mods loaded, which is probably a good thing due to crashes. The only one is uh, tags uh, for other people. I have that one back on and testing it, but I did have the I do have Bija and scenery on, uh, which will change more the tree colors and so forth, which I probably shouldn't have put on to be honest. But 
I do enjoy having different variety of trees around and colors and stuff, so. But it looks like I have lost. Oh no, there is. There's other people up there. I was going to say I've got no tags working, but they are. They are. Fly under this bridge coming up. No, this is not a free plane. This is not a free plane, Stu. You'll have to, if you want to, you're probably just going to have to take something like a, if you don't have any World War Two, World War One planes, you'll probably have to take up a, um, a Cessna or a 172 or something. I don't mind. If you want to take a fast plane, you just have to fly, fly <laughs> uh, around me a hundred times before... <laughs> Uh, the progress as I progress go under this bridge <laughs> I know Stu you're gonna be like uh, watching grass grow yeah it, it is beautiful it's a beautiful aircraft I know it's slow, Stu, and you're not, you're not the best, the big fan of slow, but if you take short flights over some scenery, especially if you like to view some of the scenery, it's definitely worth it. Sorry, I think I've just changed my mic. Oh yeah, the new Jenny. Yes, you're right. Fly the new Jenny shoe. Okay, head out the side. Oh, cool, Stu. Well, that's good then. I think we're used to watching you in the in the fast planes and loving the fast planes, so. The tug up here. We'll go check out the tug as well. The good thing about it is you can stay low and check everything out. Oh, yeah? Go to Bell 407. That's a great idea. Go a chopper. Do it. I'm not far from the main airport, so that we took off from. So you see all these tree colours uh, on the side. That's what Bijan does. Um, so it just makes things, and you can see the different variety of trees. Um, so that's what it does. It's not just green. Things change up a bit. We go first uh, lock up here. Mm. I'd like a beacon. Have a look at that. Oh, the ships look amazing. This is a great add-on to get, the Panama add-on. Absolutely. And there's a sale on as well, so it'll be discounted if you haven't got it, Stu. There's ships everywhere. It's a very busy uh, canal going through. Very busy. So there's another one on this side. So one goes, obviously in one direction and one goes in the other direction or one's for smaller ships or bigger ships 
Yeah, no problems. Thanks, Brett. Have a good one. And have an awesome stream as well. Oh, there's no ships in this one. Oh, yes, there is. A couple of tugs in there as well. This will actually be a good flight for the goose as well. And land on the uh, canal, which will be cool. No problems. Enjoy your flight today, the flying frog. Have a good one. See you guys. And everyone, don't forget uh, to check out Brett Plays. I'm flying at the moment, so I can't. Exclamation mark Brett or exclamation mark Brett Plays. It should come up. Uh, and check out Brett Plays. And the Flying Frog. Why not? Flying Frog does some awesome reviews as well. So go check out the Flying Frog. He's a legend as well. Gonna try to. Uh, I just want to do one thing. I think this does. I can I, with the iPad on, on board. I think I can put it on uh, autopilot. Let's have a look. Stew in the air yet? Just load it up. A little bit closer to the aircraft. Big ships. Thanks, but in my lunchbox. <laughs> Might take it to the right. There's a lot more ships to the right. Sailing boats. I'm going to take it level and see if we can get autopilot to stick us level at the moment. I think it works. And so I can quickly throw this up here. See more ships around there, which is awesome. Just doing something on my other screen, guys. It'll be two seconds. We'll turn her around. Look at that. Looks absolutely awesome.
All right, I am back. Ah, there's Stu. We're gonna we're gonna track back anyway, Stu. We'll track back over here. Want to go see that sailing ship? Stu's in the chopper, I think. I'm going to go fly past this sailing ship. If it gets too dark, we might... Uh, this cloud cover's got it pretty dark at the moment. The Bell 407. Have you flown the choppers much yet, Stu? He got used to them. that. How good's that? Can't see your aircraft. Can't see the aircraft, Stu. That's weird. Got no sound. Oh, you probably just logged out. That's why. Yeah, that's all right. Wow, check that. Look at this tanker. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, I've had a crash. Well, there you go. I had a crash, guys. Oops. Uh, a big crash. I've had a total crash. All right, guys, I'll be back in a moment. Oh, you had one too. Damn. Well, that's both of us. So that'll be uh, quickly resolved soon, guys. We'll be back. It was my fault. I went to my other screen to uh, look at my map. So it had something to do with that, I guess.
Nearly back, guys. Just loaded in now. Yeah. Everything was running so well. Did not know that we'd started. That's all right. It started. You could, we actually, <laughs> Stu and I both had a crash to desktop. So, um, and it pretty much as I just finished saying that, I think I finally got things working out. But uh, uh, no, it was my fault. I started flicking over to my second screen and looking at the map and seeing where we're, we're at. So it was my fault. But uh, you can definitely jump in. Uh, I'll slew. We're only, we're only basically 10 minutes into the flight. We were pretty much just after the main uh, locks. So you can spawn in at, uh, is it uh, Mike Papa Foxtrot Sierra? That's where I am right now, and I'm going to slew to where I was. Or you could just pop in on where we're at. Oh, good.
That's why something happened there. There we go. Something happened with the audio software. It is on now. So it should be good. But welcome, Garwin. Sorry, Garwin, I thought I was talking to you, but I obviously wasn't because my mic was off. But uh, we are just past the first lock. Uh, as you can see, you're ahead of, ahead of us now. And we're just doing a loop around some of this uh, boat traffic and ship traffic. And then we'll continue on. But I have noticed... Oh no, we've got people up in the air. Where'd Stu disappear to? Good day, Sandman Games! What's going on? We're in Panama today. Flying down the Panama Canal. Or across the Panama Canal. Huge ships around. Hope you can hear me now on the mic. It was in working. Check it out. All that boat traffic. Ship traffic. Boat traffic. Not sure what is around you, but I just had a try to load on you. Yeah. Well, it's obviously something. This is where we are right now is where I had to crash the desktop. Oh, there's Stu up high. Um, but I'm, I'm flying on now. Have you got the Orbex? Have you got the scenery for Panama? Might have something to do with that, but... As I said, Stu and I both had a crash to desktop, but I'm pretty sure mine was because I was fiddling around with my uh, maps and stuff on my other screen. Uh, but... Well, you don't have the Orbex scenery. Okay. Definitely well worth it, especially with all the sales on at the moment. Should be still plenty of ship traffic for you. Haha, <laughs> I've just noticed something. My engine bay is open. Is that right? Did I see that right? Oh no, it's not. No, we're good. Pop their head out to the left, so we can have a look. Fly past this ship here. That's cool. It's getting a bit dark. We might have to uh, change the time a little bit. Yeah, so there you go. It looks like my little nav map uh, is crashing. So I'm not touching it because that's what crashed the sim before. It's all right. I just got to follow the canal. Looks stunning. I love it. There's Stu in the chopper. Nice. So many different options now. A couple more ships ahead.
That looks like a bit of a fishing uh, fishing trawler or something. Love the variety. It's cool. Oh, shoot. This has got a helipad. Oh, you don't have the scenery, though. Don't know if it's landable. Oh, there's you coming up in the chopper. Awesome. I just wish they uh, fixed the rotor, the rotor turns. Nice flying, Stu. Nice flying. Another ship. Actually, we're a bit off target track here, but we'll do a we'll do a change in a minute. Go and fly past the oil tanker. I think it's a tanker, isn't it? We're going to do a U turn around the ship and get back on track because that's down a different part of the canal. Look at that. Stunning. Love it. Let's get back on track. That? Ah, Garwin's on his way. Nice one, Garwin. Oh, lucky. <laughs> we're a bit off track, so we're just getting back on track. Yeah, it's a bit dark, guys. I'm just going to change the time zone a little bit. We're not going to crash into anything. No, it's going to go around in circles for a moment. Let it pan fly itself. And get some bit of light. A bit more of a day. There we go. I'll keep the live weather on, but we'll just change it a bit lighter. There we go. Looking a bit better now. As we get back on track. He's struggling to start the old uh, Tiger Moth. You still have the Halloween scenery on. <laughs> uh, love it. Big giant skeletons around the airport. <laughs> uh. All right, let's continue on the uh, canal. Let's get a bit high now as we fly over here. But other than that crash, uh, all my swear words are, are, worn, are gone for the sim. All my cursing words. Because uh, we are smooth as... It's a little bit stuttery around Massive City, so I flew around Sydney last night and um, it was still a little stuttery around those, but generally it's it's a lot better. And it's, it's also better in, what I was really struggling with was the faster aircraft and it's also a lot better in those as well. It's 
Clark Gowans in the air. So this is sort of an island. Probably a name for this island. No, there's not. Is there? Ah, uh, there is. But we can't pronounce it. Islo Borough, Colorado. That's what this island right in the middle of the canal is. So there's, the canal goes on that side and that side. Or the river. It looks like the, sh the ships go around this way though because there's a lot more room. Oh, letting the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Another awesome ship to check out. Again, they've done the variety very well with this. Uh, they haven't just put generic ships, different branded ships, different company ships, which is cool. Obviously, these are static, these ones. They're not part of Seafront. These ones are part of the Orbex. I think it Orbex made it. The um, Panama. Scenery. You'll see more of the Seafront simulation stuff as we get out of the uh, river area. And the canal areas. Oh, that weather doesn't look too crash hot ahead, guys. Check that out. Let's go side by side to this ship. Back inside. That's a lot of detail. Oh, how dark those clouds are. That is awesome. It'll be interesting going through that storm cloud. Oh, look how dark that is. That's awesome. So yeah, due to the Panama Canal being pretty short, it wasn't going to be a long flight. So we extend it a little bit. We go over the ocean uh, and we will uh, head to a couple of islands. I don't know what their names are off the top of my head here, but we will head that way. Definitely one of my shorter flights, though. Looks like it's a bit clearer on the other side. I can't believe the Jenny does not have these caps, but instead baseball ones. <laughs> I've only, I haven't actually flown it very much. I've got to fly it. I think I had it on there. I think I got in the air and then I noticed all the stutters when I first got the um, update. That we we went around the rain. How good's that?
Definitely have to admit the weather is uh, looking spot on in the sim. It looks amazing. And the turbulence and everything is just spot on. Have a look how we're... We've got only nine want not to win, but from this angle, looking out the window, out the window, looking out the side of the aircraft, it looks awesome. A huge, great perspective. I don't know if I can get this on the outside view. I can. Look at this perspective. How tiny we are compared to this ship. That's awesome. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I don't think there's any airport around for the end. What do we got? 90% fuel, so we'll be fine. Oh, we've got a dock here. Interesting. Uh, just a crane. Ah, check that out. There's a sunken ship, and they come, they're coming to get it. Ah, that's awesome. That's why the cranes come. I'll try to get the ship out. Go back and check that out. Getting dark again. This is Orbex uh, scenery, uh, Panama Canal, basically. Check this out. This is awesome. There's a crane there. This is really cool. Trying to get the ship out. Beautiful. Oh, it must be super cheap at the moment, Garwin. I'll definitely grab it. It's a great fly, especially if you... I know that you like the slower aircraft. It's, some, it's a great one just to chill out and check out the sights like we're doing today. Another one. And there's a barge as well. A couple of barges. Cranes. Oh, yeah, it's got ore in it. That's awesome. So it's... Coal, maybe? Oh, thank you, Stu, you legend. 
thank you very much. Um, and I don't think that uh, did anything, did it? That's not very good. Oh, there we go. That's uh, thank you, Stu Legend. Uh, you absolute legend. There, I was. It was delayed. <laughs> Absolute legend. I so much appreciate it, Stu. And you didn't have to. Thank you. Thank you. Keeps playing. Thanks. Big thank you for fam and flying with you. Thank you, Stu. Thank you so much. It's always awesome to have you flying with me. And farming with me, too. Always a ball. You never miss a beat. It's great. It's going past here again. I was too busy looking at making sure that came up, but it did. Absolute legend. Thank you so much. Sorry, farm. Yeah. That's all right. Fam. We're all family. We're all community. <laughs> uh, but yes, the farm. It's so much fun. Uh, back on back on track Yeah, well, that's what I was doing. I was I was looking up at my other screen and to see if that animation came up which it did and uh, I nearly got lost it's a little bit of a Yeah, shoe the man the legend. That's it. He is the legend every single well, flight sim streamer that I watch, or ATS streamer, <laughs> locally, he supports them all. He's just so good. And internationally. It's always there for some of the flight sim community, like uh, Garwin. Sorry, I'm thinking, I'm talking Oz because there's so many flight simming people in Oz uh, and ATS people in Oz, so... But, of course, Garwin's not local for me, and Shu's not local either. Am I going the right way? I am. Awesome. Another barge. What's this one? Just a flat top. And that one's got some more ore in it. Awesome. We got the crane. Oh, dredging. That's what they're doing. I was just thinking, they're dredging the canal. That's the... Awesome. It's going to throw that one out there again. Stew the legend. I'm going to repeat that again. Because he's such a legend. Another, another. I wonder if that you can actually land the Hallies on there. see the city over there so we're already near the canal's nearly already done where is everyone there's garwin there's Stu. i'll backtrack one lot we'll backtrack a little allows garwin to catch up as well it's actually a lot faster than my estimated time Go back and have a look at this ship again. There he is. You've caught up. That's cool. I know you guys aren't seeing this scenery, but it's pretty cool. There, chopper. There you go. Get the scenery, Stu. You'd be landing all over the place with your chopper. 
All these ships. Alright, I'll... What are we at? 68 knots. A bit worried when I took off originally. I couldn't get over like 45 knots, but seems to be all good now. It's, oh, Stu, you're going down. Oh, thought you were going down. <laughs> there he goes. Chopper Stew. Nice. <laughs> they got to fix the rotors up. Makes me upset. in Australia does take power pal I pay PayPal Garland this is the first Navy ship I've seen I was waiting to see a Navy ship first one I've seen yeah it is very odd um yeah I, they take PayPal they 100%. I use do you use the I use the app. I buy mine through the Orbex app. It's also discounted. I think the Panama scenery is also on the Microsoft store. Oh, passenger ship coming up. But uh, oh yeah, I pay PayPal on the Orbex uh, app all the time. Yeah. It's, I think it's the easiest way because it just auto loads everything for you into the right directories and stuff so yeah no I did read that somewhere go and I think someone else on another stream was talking about it because things do tend to be slightly cheaper through their app or their website than on the store I don't know what it is now because I know there's sales going on everywhere but this is a cool cool um, bridge you guys might have this bridge, I don't know. This is a Microsoft thing or an Orbex thing. I have tips in PayPal. Ah, yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, awesome. There's like a ship docked underneath. This looks cool. It's going to be really interesting when we get to the city and see what any stutters happen. We fly through the city, but there's an airport coming up, so we'll be doing a landing. Ah, oh, this is cool. But it's like a little waiting area for ships around here. We'll, we'll fly around this a couple of times. This is super cool. But again, as I said before, the ships aren't generic. They've done really well. Oh, that, that, that passenger ship looks absolutely... Look at that. Look at that. That is stunning. And you can only do it in these slow aircrafts. When you're 50,000 feet in the air, you don't see all this awesome stuff. Only generic bridge, so it's an Orbex thing. But see all these trees, how there's palm trees around here and everything, variety. I don't think you guys get that either. That's from the Bijang uh, scenery, which I didn't think would be compatible, but so far so good. Touch wood. Oh, there's power lines. I didn't even notice the power lines. Oh. Coming back for another fly over this. Have a look at that. That that just looks amazing.
Anyone want to swim? A nice pool on deck here. Oh, nice. Garwin's come in for some formation. Stu must be up high. <laughs> oh, he's in front of us. Oh, here we go. We're at the docks again. Go check him out. Couple of small boats. Looks like uh, the, the authorities for the uh, canal sort of boats. Oh, this is cool. Absolutely cool. All right, so we do a big, a bit of a flight now to. Actually, we go to the, we go over the airport soon, uh, and then we head to the islands. Uh, we land at the airport. Sorry, we fly over uh, to the city, then we come back and land at the same airport. Oh, there's the other dock. Whoa, we're gonna go and check this out. Frame rate rise, FPS frame rate wise, I'm pretty impressed at the moment. Oh, this is great. No, so we're flying, uh, oh, bit of stutters there. We're flying to a couple of islands. Um, but if it's short, I'll fly back. No issue. Um, if it's, if we'll see what it is at the end. So we're flying over, over the airport to the city. Then we're flying back to land at the airport. Uh, but that's only a, a refueling landing, which we don't really need. But I'll land it. Then we're flying off to a couple of islands off the coast. So it's still a bit of flight left. Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, reload. Go for it. And you can take off from this airfield. I'll let you know what it is in a sec. If you don't know. Yeah, no, nah, oh, you're going to reload? Yeah, we'll fly back then. I'm all for it. We've got time. Well, you're going to see the city anyway when you take off from the airport. Back just three minutes. Yeah. So beautiful. That's all right, Stu, take your time, mate. So I'm going to fly over to the uh, city, and then I'm going to come back and land at that airport that you're at. I'm just flying through. Oh, actually, we've got to go and fly to the city now. We'll come back this way. Actually, I can land here. Half downloaded. Oh, it won't take you long. That's all right. I'll go fly at the city and I'm going to come. I'll wait to fly to the islands, which aren't too far. And there's some more scenery around there.
these colourful buildings. All right, let's see how we go through the city. Hey, good old spammer. Take your time, I'll catch up. No need to wait. All good. The city goes all the way down the coast there. That's cool. Tower Bank. Worth a try, guys? Nah, we're not going to do it, are we? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that would have been good from the external view. We'll go back and have a look at those buildings. Oh, good, Stu. Just flying through the city. Oh, there's a dock here. Ooh. Good old Garwin checking his the one bucks. Don't want to say that the wrong way, hey. Uh, head out to the left of the aircraft. There's a big freeway that comes over the water here. Oh, Stu's checking his one box. There's going to be a few in there. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? The? That can't be right. Something's happened there. I think it's 37,000, but it's added <laughs> uh, That's a classic. <laughs> no, nah, there's something wrong there, Stu. I don't think... <laughs> I think 37,000 sounds right, but adding those extra three zeros and a five it sounds insane. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think uh, Shu might have donated a couple of million dollars without me knowing. <laughs> no, no, no. He doesn't. That's that's a mistake. I, he, I think last time I was about to say he's at about thirty or forty thousand um, when he pot typed it in. So something's happened there. I'll definitely have to have a look at that, Stu. So Stu, it's about thirty-seven thousand. 
Obviously, you... <laughs> check my PayPal balance. <laughs> yeah, check out this freeway that goes around the. Um... It's like a marshland, I guess. Very interesting. So around outside because I didn't want to put it through the city. Really cool. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, Stu. Yeah, I'll do what Garwin did if I. <laughs> I'll keep them there if there's a couple of million dollars in the PayPal account. <laughs> um, uh, I think you can track it. So I'll have a look. Obviously, somehow it's uh, got confused with one of the donations. You definitely have a lot more than everyone. That's because you donate. And again, much appreciated for that, Stu. Because that's an automatic thing from um, Streamlabs that adds those if you donate. Everyone knows if you chat more and all that, you get points. If you stay on, you get points. And if you donate, you get points. I think if you buy merch too, you get points. Something like that anyway. Check this out. This is a whole island or, yeah, basically an island. More passenger ships. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at this. Hell going a bit whack. Oh, the heli. Your download speed tanked. Well, hopefully it picks up. It's all right. We're just, we're just over the bay now. Just checking out uh, all the shipping in the bay. If I get a bit of altitude, you'll be able to see there's ships everywhere. And all these, I think, are, most of these are to do with the Orbex scenery. Boats, we'll come back there. We'll go out to this ship here, and then we'll track back in. Ultimate Gaming, Dad, how you doing? We're over Panama Canal today. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, how did you go? In oh, Anywhere by there. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, I think you got a second one. I think there's G Dad 2 as well. Yeah, how did the battle go? Or are you about to get on battle? Well, uh, if you're if you are on battle when I finish this flight, I will be coming in. I'll come in and have a a fight a battle with you. Yeah, this is super like an ultra wide uh tanker well before I went to bed when I was watching you you guys were struggling so you've obviously had a couple of good games I just cranked Van Halen Panama <laughs> we're in the tiger moth G dad Nice classic aircraft. Go on to bed, brother. Just wanted to support you before I did. Oh, thanks so much, mate. And I know it's late for you. And you got to work. It's a good thing I don't have neighbours, yeah. Yeah, you can crank stuff as high as you want. <laughs> uh. In the chopper. Shoes in the chopper. Alright, let's go land at the airport. And then head... 
Well, we were going to go inland a little bit, but there's not much scenery. That was just to extend the flight because it was so short. We've only been streaming for an hour. So, Tech Racing, thanks for that extra support, mate. How you doing? I hope everything is well. Stew's in the chopper. What? Tech Racing. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I thought I'd seen it before. <laughs> uh, you're funny. Just a hi and a like and wave, boys. No problems, Gamey Dad. Legend. Thanks for dropping by, mate. Appreciate it. You know what we really need? We need a bit of wind. The water looks too calm, doesn't it? Let's see if we can put a bit of wind in here. Uh, yeah. There we go. Might blow the little bird around a little bit. That's better. <laughs> tech, high tech racing, <laughs> Garwin. It's so hard because obviously, for me, I, I don't get, for streaming on a Monday morning, I don't get any Aussie market because everyone goes to work. So, all, a lot of the, obviously, people who jump on the other guy's streams, and obviously Brett's streaming right now as well. So he's got some as well. So it's really hard getting much support this early, but it's the only time I can really get a flight in with family and commitments and stuff. Once I figured out the sun for the gliding thing went much better this morning. Also stalled three times and did not crash. I've got to do it. I've got to jump in the uh, the glider. Oh, the Saab, that's right. I wish it was on special with all the other sales. So many good sales going on at the moment. Oh, there's cars parked here? How did the cars get on here? Ah, uh, to the right. If I'm around, message me, I will jump in. Alright, no problems. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, let's track back and try to land this bird for the first landing. We can refuel. We don't really need to fuel up. These clouds look a bit... We're not on live weather anymore, just because I wanted to get a bit of... A bit of white caps, a bit of waves in the water. Looks a bit better with the ships. Have you got it, Garwin? Might pick it up. Oh, you do have it? Cool. I might pick it up. Ooh, what's this colourful thing down here? What is this? Very interesting. That looks amazing. Check it out.
Very interesting. Yeah, I know. That's it. You both got it. Ooh, might have to get it. Might have to get it. Now that the sim's running good again and on faster, faster uh, jets, it's running better for me. Party spot. Oh yeah, that was that was awesome. Is that the ski place? Is there a ski place? I gotta check it out again. You mean like skiing as water skiing? Or is this this big building here? No idea. Indoor skiing. Okay. So you think it's this color colorful building? Maybe? Whoa. Oh, the big one. Okay, I thought so. I was going to say the small one. Next one up. All right, I'll fly over it again. Uh, what's this? Yep, got it. Party spot. Is this a ski spot? Yeah, indoor skiing. Ski. Brett plays giveaway. Oh, you got that aircraft from a Brett plays giveaway. This big building, a indoor skiing place. Could be. Doesn't look high enough, though. Oh, no, I can see that. Yep. It's got like a, yep, it's probably using that, the architecture that goes down to, yeah, that, that, yep, I agree, it could be some sort of skiing place. Oh, it's got a giveaway now. <laughs> giveaway, giveaway. Is it the Camer Twin Navion? Coming into a land. The Black Marlin. Yeah, what is the giveaway? Oh, it's giving away the Saab. Nice. Oh well, I'm too busy flying to to do it, <laughs> to get it, to win the giveaway at Brett's Plays. Alright, we're going to go and land over here. How's the wind going? Perfect. At least this thing hopefully is not too hard to uh, to land. I do know it's really hard to stop because it flips over, so... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, th I thought I was in the air. It went up again. Damn. Oops, 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 oops. We ballooned. 
Totally balloon that. Oh, look at all the shops on the left. Right. right. It is taking a while. That's right, I'm just gonna go refuel. Oh, I'm going to change this to a bit more day. Because if we go live, oh, it's not too bad live. But I want some water on the waves. Water. Waves. Waves on the water. Fuel. We'll fill her up. We've got plenty left, though. Just having a quick look at the map. So instead of going over to the island, I'll track back. How long do you think you'll be going? There's the chopper. Oh, nice landing, Stu. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Uh... Just go. I will catch up. Cool. All right. Well, what we'll do, we haven't seen the buildings far down the city end. So we'll track, we'll change it over. We'll track towards another airfield, which is at the other end. I should not have tried to do it midstream. That's all right. Uh, we'll track down to another airfield at MPT, uh, Mike Papa Tango. Uh, I'm just making sure it's not too far away. So we'll do that. And we'll see how we go. Oh, there's an airport up there too. Up in the country. Alright, we'll go that way. Alright, let's go. We'll go take off. We'll just, I'm just... Let's go. So change of flight plan, Stu. So just follow me. Wind's changed. Let's just take off this way then. We don't need much runway for this bird. Let's go.
So we'll track uh, around to the left. We'll track it down the coast and there's another airport and then we'll track back up towards the canal and follow that back. I was going to go way over to an island but there isn't that much scenery. It was only going to be to extend the flight. So we may as well go back over the canal where there's a lot of scenery. So... We haven't been to the far end of the city, so we've been through all this before. Pretty cool, though. This building looks amazing. Love this. Sim loading up, beautiful. Well, you can meet us at, uh, is it Oscar, Mike, Papa, Tango, Oscar? Yeah, it does look like a bit of a Jenga building, doesn't it? I'm trying to find what that building was called without crashing my uh, plane. Mike, Papa, Tango, Oscar. It was a bit of a Jenga style building. Oh cool, so actually they've done this, uh, looks like they've done this road as well. So the scenery goes all the way down to this, these buildings, which is cool. Because Orbex usually does it. This is the whole, they've done the city, so it's actually a good pickup. You've got the whole canal they've done. They've done both ends, the cities, uh, on both ends of the canal. And they've done a bit more down the coast here in one, in one add-on. That's actually quite impressive, because normally they just do a city. And obviously this road they've done because that's hand placed. And these couple of buildings here. Some tennis courts down there. There's a pool. Another pool. Nice. I'm gonna track. This is an airport down here. It's gonna track down to there and come back. Pretty cool. Looks like some sort of water treatment place down here.
Where's the airport? Ah, oh, there it is. I'll do it next week, guys. I'll make sure I sort it. I haven't sorted it out this week, but next week I will. Uh, I'll do a giveaway, and uh, I'll check into Stu's five million credits. <laughs> uh, but next week I'll I'll do a giveaway next week. I'll do two giveaways. I'll put it on the. Uh, I'll notify it on the uh, thumbnail and stuff so people know. Just uh, a touch and go here, guys. By next week, it'll be six million. Yeah, interest, Stu. <laughs> you get interest. Alright. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I will say, when doing the flight plan, there's really not... And I, I don't know if it's because of the hills, the hilly terrain inland, but there's not that many airfields. Even rough and ready dirt strips, there's just not much. <laughs> that was a classic when you check go and check these credits and then you check yours. <laughs> that was just a classic. Oh we got an airliner. Flying over, I'm guessing, an area of the town called Petrigal. Petrigal. Garland's back in. Nice. Alright, let's head towards the canal then. Let me have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, live weather was pretty crazy. Well, if it's got a bit of wind, that's what we wanted. I only went off it because there wasn't much wind. Uh, yeah, that's not good, but we'll get some daylight. Ooh. Yeah, actually, I'll keep that on. It's a bit brighter than it was. Let's, let's give it a go. It's just really, yeah, it gets a bit dark. 
Might have some wind in there though. It's only four knots. It's running four knots of wind. Just going to see if we can get a bit. Uh... Yeah, we're not going to get much better than that. You have fun. <laughs> yeah, it is the same, Stu, because I haven't been able to go in there to do it yet. I'm a bit worried if I go into Streamlabs and all that, and it might crash. Just heading towards the coast now. Uh, so I can actually go in now. User management. Uh, where are we going to go? Store. We're going to go to points. Loyalty. Here we go. Let's look up stew. Points. Yeah. So your third Garland, it's your it's Stu, then it's Clouded Minds, uh, Garland, and then Brett plays top four. Oh, Big Jacko's number five, top five, and then DJ. In terms of points, your hours Stu are eighty three hours, uh, which is quite a lot more compared to the next one. If we just go by hours, DJ Star's got 41 hours. Uh, Brett and then Garwin. Garwin's got 24 hours. Ooh, looks like a bit of rain's coming up. Uh, so if we go in here and we edit this. All right, that's fixed now, Stu, but you're still way away because you're, you're 37,000. Cloud of Mine's got 5,500. So you're way ahead of the pack. That's been fixed now. All right, so Garwin should see the city now. So we'll come back through the city. And I'll only charge a, th a thousand a ticket, but what I might do is I might max tickets out. I might have maybe maximum three tickets or four tickets uh, per giveaway next week. So if I said to you guys, because you, I know I know I get a lot of people who play PlayStation PS5 on dropping in and out of my streams. So, but you guys are obviously in a lot, and I. Obviously, you play flight sim a lot, but is there is that what you prefer as a giveaway, or would you be happy with vouchers for? I know PlayStation vouchers wouldn't really help for you, Garwin. I don't think, but um, I might have one on there. Obviously, for the people who have PS5s, because there's a few that drop in and out. But prefer things like from uh, Orbex Store uh, and stuff like that. I can do Microsoft vouchers too for the marketplace. What would you prefer? I was gonna I was definitely gonna have some Steam stuff on there. Because um, I can just send that that's easy. I can just gift Steam stuff to anyone, so that's really easy to do. And now that I've got a bit of a, a, a chest, as I said, I want to give back to you guys who support so and fly along. So it's time I start doing it now. I don't know where I'm going to fly. Oh, I've got to finish. I'm still in the top end of Australia. We're flying into Queensland, actually, next week. 
I want to get. Oh, I actually want to get the Australian trip out of the way. I've been flying Australia for for a year, around Australia for a year now. So can you see all the buildings now, Garwin? Should be all popping in. Yeah, here's, here's our Jenga building. Really cool. Make sure I don't hit the bank. Oh, that'll be a good one to fly through. I'm going to do it. I'm going to fly through here, guys. Should be able to do it. Might be able to do it. Might not be able to. Nah, that's too hard. That is way too hard. Oh. Whew. Oh, check that one out. Did I see that? Yeah. Oh, the Jenga building is default. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go back to the canal. Fly back. And we will be done. It's actually not a very long flight through the canal, is it? Oh, multicolored building. Rainbow building. Helipad shoe. Where's the helipad? Has a Jenga building got a helipad? Oh, this one's got palm trees on top. I did not even notice. Oh, that's cool. Sand. It's got like a beach. Oh, uh, maybe not. It's got two level. That is awesome. Oh, I didn't even see this. That is amazing. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, one's doing the flybys as well. Looking nice. Hey, William Kelly. How you doing, mate? Welcome to the stream. Flying Panama Tiki Bar on the roof. Yeah. good detail in these buildings all right let's continue down the canal hope you're doing well William go to the bridge we'll fly under the bridge and start our tour back of the pet canal well flying through that city uh, not a huge city but uh, it didn't really affect my frame rate too much which was awesome Doing well, I need to turn on notifications so I can get in your stream sooner. Yeah, turn them on, switch them on. Next week we're going to do giveaways. I've decided I'm going to start doing my giveaways now. It's been a while and uh, I need to start giving back. So from next week, I'll start doing giveaways. Oh, wait, we got look at this. Ooh, we got all the flags. Awesome. Some sort of conference center. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have seen that if I didn't fly in this direction. The stadium. And the conference center. That's 
that's really cool. Those minor little details. Isn't it funny how any, well, from what I've seen, majority, I haven't seen that many around the world, but in around Australia, conference centers or trade centers or anything like that always have some sort of water feature at the front. Big water feature. They have a water fountain or they have um, just pools of water, all that sort of stuff. Always. Oh, a bit of stutters. But it's still doing all right. Ah. The Black Merlin. Oh, that's another. It's just only two warships so far. Uh, St. Lawrence Seaway. I wonder if, um, hmm, I wonder if they take, if you emailed them, Orbex, and you said, is there any plans for you to do something like that? Or you'd really like it? I wonder if they would put it somewhere on a list. They seem to be pretty good with the community. I wonder. I know it might still be a year away before they do it or two years away, but do they, maybe they have a list that people can ask. And if they get enough interest in that region or that area, then they do it. Duck fly, we're going down the locks. All right. Stu, I have to admit, you've done well in that chopper today. Something to do with you. I've sent three emails to res and response and was for stuff I wanted to purchase multiples of. Oh, okay. Zero responses. So their customer service <laughs> don't seem to be too good. So what happened? You saw your home, Stu? You see my home? You don't live around here. Or was there some scenery up there that we missed? I do see something. Some sort of church or something up on the hill. Oh, I didn't notice. But the dock. Oh, I didn't even notice they've got movable uh, pulling train things that pull the ships through. It's moving. That's awesome. I did not notice. That's good. Very cool. Still have not given me the Orbis want to do, want to do my home. Oh. <laughs> Tug Central. So I've got my uh, Bijang uh, season scenery set to fall in this area. That's why you can obviously see multiple colored trees in their uh, 
leaves falling off stage. Yeah, sounds like a Garwin. Sounds like it's pretty shit. <laughs> I think everyone's got their places they would love to love to do more of. I just found that after Canada, right? This is Microsoft, not Orbex. Canada was quite disappointing, I find. I hope Microsoft gets better. It spends a bit more time. Yeah, so Ski Jump, Bob Run Arena, yep. And I wish they, Microsoft spends a bit more time in some of the regions that they do. Oh, sail ship, sailboat. Like even Australia was pretty crap. It was alright, but not that good. Yeah, well that's right, Canada was. I, do you know what, I've only flown on there when I've joined other people's streams. I haven't, there was one video, I made a short video, I think, from the Canada area when it first came out. And then I said, mm, yeah, nah. I'll get back there again, but. Yeah, I'd like them to do places like uh, Papua New Guinea really well. Because some of those places to land for GA flying and that sort of thing is would be amazing if they did some of those short strips really good and the hilly terrain spot on. And, you know, even if Orbex brought out a mesh for that area, would be really beneficial. Uh, those places that aren't mainstream, even Indonesia, I'd love that to be done. Maybe... Uh, Southeast Asia, all that area. Yeah, PNG's great now, but I'd love them to do a really high detailed mesh and get the height models perfect and then do up. It's not it's not that many. Well, there is actually a lot of little airfields, but do up a few of the airfields and make them, you know, real. I know there's a lot of freeware mods in that area, I think. Uh, I've seen on flightsim.to. They have a lot of really good models. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That area would be just stunning to fly around. You know, especially in something like this. Or um, the Fox. You know. Oh, I got crashed. Uh, or the Fox would be awesome as well. Flying around there, which I've already done. I've flown around there a bit in the Fox. Love it. Right, I'm going to brighten up the day a bit, guys. It's a bit dark over here, and you guys can't really see too much. So I'm going to change this weather to scattered cloud. No, to a few clouds. Yeah, that's it. But I will increase the water, so it's a bit more wavy. There we go. That looks a bit better. All right, cool. Sixty-six knots. I'm doing seventy-nine knots. Now with a, now with a, if I got a tailwind, I've just put it up. I'm doing a little bit faster. Yeah, that looks better now. We need a bit of, need some white caps on the water. But this little aircraft gets pushed around <laughs> quite a lot. Twenty knots. Might have to change the wind direction. Love the moth. I love the moth too. Good day, Brett. How you doing? Oh, it's going skimming the ground. Skimming the water, not the ground. All right, I can do that too. Maybe I don't want to go too low because I've got. I think I got collisions on. 
and I don't want to find out <laughs> the hard way. Hey. <laughs> And the chopper comes into the mix. Stu flies past us all. Oh, you hit the tree! <laughs> wow, you're right above that water. Very brave. Oh, he's not. <laughs> Flipped it up. There he is. Goward's gone for a swim. <laughs> Stew damn tree and go and damn water. <laughs> What's been happening, Brett? I'm gonna go watch this uh, sunken or look at this sunken ship again. Massive cranes. The dredging. Nice shot of the crane. Like these areas along the river that ships have stopped off, maybe a, cu a couple of weeks, they've uh, cut down a whole lot of trees, loaded them up, and left probably some sort of illegal clearing of the forest, is my guess, because there's not much there. Another one here, see? Oh, there might be a road here on that one. Enjoy checking out these. Did you know the US wanted to make a second canal here and use nukes to clear the soil? I want, oh, actually, look at this. Something's been done here. Interesting. Like a, and there's some cargo being dumped or something's been dumped in the water. It's very interesting. I like to explore these little nooks and crannies, these little waterways. You never know what you'll find. Maybe it's a drug being drugs being thrown overboard. <laughs> You'd never know. Um, I I watched a I watched the there's a documentary you've probably seen it too, but there's a documentary on the building of the canal, and I think I remember something of uh, about that Garland. Like there was two or three different ways they wanted to do it. 
Um, oh, that's a lot of turbulence above those hills. While we're here, we may as well uh, throw this out here. Go check out Garwin. He does lots of flight simulator as well. All sorts of uh, aircraft. Mostly slower single or twin props. Might have to start doing choppers choppers soon, Garwin, with all the choppers uh, on board now. Oh, and gliding. I forgot the big one. Very unique. He does gliding, which not many uh, tubers do. Oh, really? Two weeks, it's done and dusted. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll uh, find somewhere else to fly with it. <laughs> Since you love it so much. But nearly... If that was all flat containers, we could try to land on the ship. <laughs> Maybe around the world trip. Awesome. Well, that's what I had planned to do when I started. Where did I start my trip? In Tassie? I started my... And that was going to be around the world trip. But as I said, it's a year later and I'm still doing my Aussie trip. And that's because I do, I do a lot of small airfields. And all lot, or mostly GA, except like last week when there was a big gap. We jumped in the F-14 to get over some of the uh, large landmass in the centre of Australia. But um, then we ended off with a nice twin Navion flyover at Uluru, which was cool. US National Parks, nice. Well, there's lots of... Have you got all the... I'm guessing you've got a lot of the uh, scenery for that because there's a lot of scenery for the US National Parks. Pretty sure there is. Garwin trying to land. No, <laughs> I thought you were trying to land on there. It should be an aircraft. It's a shame there's no aircraft carrier coming through. There will be. Seafront simulations will be onto it. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't have brakes. Uh, the um, seafront hopefully will do a like a Hawaiian Islands one through this area. Which will be pretty cool. The Zenith, you can land anywhere. You can land it in the uh, the uh, the parking lot of uh, Lukla. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Mr. Mr. Chopper Pilot himself. Stu. A red. Again, there's a scorched earth policy over there. Someone's come in, ripped the trees out, and left the earth. Red earth.
Nearly done. Last section here of the canal. River. Look at a runway. It looks like a runway. Yeah, it was weird, wasn't it, Shu? Maybe an emergency, maybe? Maybe it's an emergency area if there's a ship, so they can set up if there's a ship incident or something. Have some cockpit views out the side. Yo, Dees, good day, mate. How you doing? Just flying through Panama at the moment. We've uh, flying. One way, now we're flying back the other. The good old Tiger Moth. We'll go check this ship out and then we'll uh, turn off to uh, the finish line. Garwin, Stu in the chopper. Maybe some sort of trawler it is, I think. Or is it a tug? I love this shot. Whoa! Too close to the water. sort of rescue navy boat isn't it oh there's some sail ships out here hang on haven't seen these they're like um tall ships these look cool i 
I've not seen these. Oh, this is cool. This is super cool. Look at that. Oh, they disappeared. What? No! They just disappeared! Oh, they're out. They're back. They're back, huh? They're gone. They're back. What the? That was weird. That must be part of Seafront Simulation ships. Yeah, it is. There's Seafront. There's pirate ships. How cool is that? Oh, that's cool. I wish they weren't disappearing. That's part of Seafronts. Ghost pirate ships. Is that meant to do that? Disappear. Like you said, ghost pirate ships. Well, no, they must be part of Orbex then. As he's... If you can see them. Odd oh, now I have them. No, they must be part of Orbex. That's cool. That's why I didn't see them before. They... Ghost pirate ship. So is that something that's real in this uh, add-on? No idea. Just thought that was irrelevant. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> I was in a drink. <laughs> Sorry, Stu. What did you say? You stop at MPEG. Yeah, we're stopping at the... Where we started. Oh, actually, no. We can stop at the uh, international airport there. That's really interesting. Alright, I'm going to go right through them. I know it's going to disappear, but might be able to get a screenshot before they do later off stream. Yeah, they're disappearing. There we go. Yeah, they even got cannon. Yeah, nah, they're ghost ships. 100% Brett. That's exactly what they are. Meant to be. Yeah, MP, yep. Uh, Mike, Papa, Echo, uh, Juliet. That's where we're going. Stu will land over there. Brett. Pound says, Gowan, check Discord, DG1001 volume. all the ships uh we'll just go over to the uh locks again and then we'll head into where Stu's heading now Did that take flight time of two hours so a lot shorter flight than i'd normally take but i'm happy with that I'm wrapped that I found we found those pirate ships. That's cool.
Got a couple of tugs. A big ship over here. rougher in the right side than the left. Oh, lighthouse. Chopper pad, shoot. Probably land on there. I'm a bit slower because uh, I've got the wind up a bit to make the uh, water look a little rougher. Looks a little bit better with all these ships. Nearly ready to turn towards Stew. What did our live weather show now? That's not too bad. Heading towards Stew now. Shouldn't be long, Stew will be there. Ooh, stutter. That is uh, a busy dock. Wind's coming from 303. Should be a crosswind, I think.
So you should be fine going in that way. I don't even know what... That one four. Three six. No. No, we've got to go the other way. Yep. Got to come in from one eight. Oh, it's a crosswind. I'm coming in. Oh, it's only a crosswind. Oh, yeah, I changed my... Oh, no, I reset it. Yeah. No, I reset it, so it's the same as you. I think I could ever land it from this direct from outside view. I should try. down taxi over to stew yep you do have to take them off you have to shut them down Shut those uh, down. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. We can put the chocks in, can't we? Or does that not work from this view? No. All right. All good. Thank you, guys. Very much. What an awesome flight. That was awesome. Uh, thanks guys for joining me. Thanks Stu again and Stu a big shout out again and I'm going to throw it up on the screen for the donation you legend uh, and uh, thanks Gowan for flying along with me. Uh, you're all legends and uh, next week there will be giveaways. Uh, so let's make sure that we're all on because I'd love to give away to you guys because you guys do fly with me a lot. But anyone else who wants to join can. Uh, but thank you. That was awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Panama Canal uh, and I will see everybody On the other side as the wombat floats in Thanks, Brett Awesome for you to be part of the chat. Thank you very much and everybody else who was in chat today. Thank you very much Legends
<laughs> Gawa says it every time. Love the animation. Uh, here you go. You can have it again. Say guys, ciao.